Hi Capricorn, this is Jeffrey, this is Red Color, and this is your reading for the month of May of 2022. <laughs> Maybe I could recycle it and do it for like, I could stay this young forever. Then I can go backwards. All right, um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Please become a member of the channel. That would help uh, support the channel and uh, members have access to the weekly videos um, organized by sign. I am here in Mexico City and it's um, the rainy season. So man, when it rains here, it rains. You know, thunder, lightning, big raindrops, the whole number. Very exciting. And uh, the place that I have is on the roof. Go closer. <laughs> All right. Um, please check out. I also I offer private readings. I'm available. Um, one day I'll have a calendar added to the site. I, it's a long story. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, someone else is supposed to do it for me because I don't know what I'm doing. If I press the wrong button, forget it. I eliminate the whole site. So we're working on that. And uh, so that way you can just make your own appointment this way. I don't want to get into it, whatever. All right, let's go Capricorn. One, two, three. That's odd. I never really begin reading like that. So I get, it's very odd. I have two tens, so tens are the end of something. And I have two. You know, I have like this, you know, being emotionally satisfied. You're like, this is basically the fairy tale card. So so, you know, this is like the promise fulfilled, you know, it's like everything is perfect, you know, but and the promise is fulfilled, right? And there's an emotional fulfillment. And then I have this 10, which is like, I don't really usually read this card like that, but Sometimes this could be, you know, feel it, feel like it. The feeling of being betrayed, right? Of being stabbed in the back. Weird. I think, I think there's going to be a change in thinking. This is also like a change in the way you think about what stability is. You know, I used to think stability was this, you know, like the perfect uh, spouse or partner or husband or wife or whatever you want to call it children and maybe a dog la, la, la. house in the country la, 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 la. right and then it's like hmm i don't think so actually i think i want to build something else i think i want to something else is what makes me feel stable it's, a, it's kind of this real shift yeah I, i've been disappointed you know, there could be, I mean, maybe a loss. Maybe there was some loss. Maybe you had it all and, you know, you lost it and it's done. It's just weird reading, man. But the garden is still fertile. The garden is still fertile. I think the loss is sometimes we have these fantasies. I think sometimes we have these fantasies of the way things are supposed to be, or the way things are supposed to look from the outside, or the way, you know, what, what was instilled in us by society. Oh, this is the perfect life. You know, you have this, you have that, and whatever. And then you're like, maybe you get it. And you're like, oh, this isn't really, this doesn't feel the way I thought it was going to feel. I thought it was going to feel, I don't know, calmer, um, more fulfilling, more, and, I, and I've become aware. It's like, this isn't really what I wanted at all. It's, it's a really oddball sort of beginning. Yeah, I, there's a new direction I want to go in that's more spiritually aligned with who I am, with what I want, with what spirit wants from me, with um, 
like guidance from from the angels and my and my guides and there's something else there's there's a different balance okay yeah and my intuition is telling me you know like i'm having a dream of, of a new reality of a different reality you know what i thought was the dream was actually not a dream at all it really felt a burden and i i don't longer want to participate in that burden and i i think the lighting is going to change and i think i'm going to have to end my videos because <laughs> it's already 7 30 here and i i really prefer to do things during the day but um whatever okay yeah i'm getting all these new messages i, I really want to like help you here so yeah I, my heart was broken like I, I i went after all the things that everyone told me to do i got everything i was supposed to get you know from the outside looking in and it looks great but on the inside it just didn't do it for me i felt really broken hearted i felt really empty and I'm ready to like end that and go into my intuition and going in a new direction of something that's really going to satisfy me. The time is now. I'm going to take responsibility for it. And this is what's going to heal me. This is what's going to heal me. And I feel I'm feeling this really, really strong intu intuition, you know, like you know inside of yourself what it is that will make you satisfied and it doesn't fit into what everyone else thinks is the thing it's really really something yeah i'm i i'm i'm mm, this is a really interesting card it's like i'm willing to meet this is what i get today and i'm willing to meet the highest part of my own soul and connect with myself in a way that I never have before. I almost change my DNA, be healed. You know, it's like, I, I wanna be in a place that all the emotion and all the passion and all the love that I put out into the world, I wanna be met by, by myself. But like, it's almost like you're merging with your own inner guide in order to kind of be reborn, you know, kind of be reborn, go in a completely new direction, whatever that is, you know, because it's funny, because even walking around Mexico here, I, um, you know, there's so much art to see. <clears throat> and, you know, color is really my thing, and that's good. And I, you know, I love it. But there's this sense of, um, how would I say it, of shape and of empty space here that they have a handle on that is not present in the West, as far as I can see. This is this honoring of um, emptiness. I don't know how else to put it. Um, like there's always space, not always, but a lot. But I, what I'm what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is like there's a space that's open for possibility, right? For possibility. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that I, I I'm leaving room for chaos or I'm leaving room for what what the the positive aspect. It, you know, so this like the negative, the, the empty space would be the negative space, right? And then the positive space, like it's like, let's say a pyramid with a giant plaza around it. Like that's, that's my example, okay? So that, that, that barrenness, is it to be filled? Is it to be left empty? Is it to, you know, to be open to possibility, whatever that possibility is? Is it saying yes to chaos? Is it saying yes to hope? Is it saying, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know I didn't really mean to get all philosophical, but I feel like um, there, it's almost like this is the, like the, the two pieces of you are, are joining. 
and um, it's like the end of the, uh, the end of the old way, and like uh, like a new thing is coming in, a new way of thinking that's full of uh, abundance and flow, and um, it's healing, you know. And sometimes when we we you like, well, I thought I had this in the past, la 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 la. And then it, you know, it's done. It's sort of like there's a little bit of heartbreak, a little there's a sadness and a and, and a grief period, which is normal and fine, but it's good and done. It, so this is the beginning, the end of something, and the beginning of something, and that's what I feel is going on. And then the intuitive comes in, the new direction comes in, like blessings from above, being guided by the stars or your ancestors or the angels or whatever you want to be guided by, not whatever, but you know. Lots of messages. It's a really, really, I feel like it's it's a big about face transformation. It's almost like, uh, you know, you went into the dryer, right? And uh, you know how sometimes you keep something in the dryer and it's like, this is a whole different garment, <laughs> a little bit like that. All right, that's my take. Really. How would I say it? A completely different perspective. Completely. That's what I got. Blessings. <laughs>